Hey everybody, welcome to another Macintosh training video. Today we are going to be looking at a very fundamental piece of macOS, which is the dock. And uh, the dock is uh, this, this bar down at the bottom of your screen. Um, the dock basically has one function, um, basically. It's got, a, it's got a lot of things it can do. But really what it, its whole purpose is just to have a quick way to launch apps, uh, your favorite apps or, or regularly used apps. And this thing is, is completely customizable. Um, so they're just one-click launches. So let's say we wanted to launch Safari. It's just a one-click and, and, uh, and that's it. So um, Apple puts a, a bunch of apps, you know, if you bought a brand new Mac and and logged into your account for the first time, they put some apps down here that they think you're going to want to use. Uh, but if you don't want to use those apps, um, you can switch them out with whatever it is you want to uh, to be in there. So, a couple ways that you can uh, you can remove or or add apps. So first of all, let's say we wanted to remove uh, the calendar. Let's say we didn't want that there. Well, um, we can just drag it out, and uh, and it'll remove it. Now, in earlier versions of macOS, you could just really quickly drag it out and it would, it would automatically delete it. But uh, I don't know exactly what version, but at some point they kind of put in a fail-safe because people were accidentally deleting things from their dock by just, you know, accidentally kind of dragging it away. Now if we drag it away, you see it comes back. And so, uh, if that doesn't work for you, you have to be really intentional. You have to pick it up and drag it really far away and kind of hold it there for a little while. And now you'll see it says remove. Um, the closer you get, it kind of will pop back in there. Um, so you just kind of got to drag it really far away and let it go and poof, it's gone. Um, so that's how you remove apps. You can also right click or secondary click, whatever your settings are for that, um, on any app, go to options, and there's a remove from dock. Um, if you want to reorganize your apps, you can just pick them up and, and move them, you know, wherever you want to move them to. Um, and then if you want to add an app, there's, there's a couple of ways you can do this. So let's go into our Applications folder, bring up the Finder and go to Applications. Let's say we wanted to add Photo Booth. Well, you could just pull it down and, and you know, just kind of, as you put it between apps, they, they kind of split apart. You'll see them split apart and you can just let go at that point and it'll drop it in. And if you want to move it somewhere else, you just pick it up and move it. Um, so it's really pliable. You can customize it however you'd like. Um, now, not only does the dock keep apps that, um, or store apps that, that you want to be there to launch at any point, but any open apps will also show up in the right side of the dock next to this little divider bar. So, so I'll show you, for example, um, let's open, well, it's a good one. How about, rem well, Reminders is already home. Let's get Reminders out of there, and then let's open it. So we open Reminders, you see it shows up in the right sidebar here, or in the, the, the right um, side of the dock. But if we quit Reminders, it disappears, okay? And that's because we never, we never saved it into the dock. So if, let's say, we dragged it into the dock, and then we opened it, well, now it's not on the right side of the dock. It's just going to sit in the middle, and if we quit reminders, it'll stay there. Let's say, though, let's say we open it, and it's in the right side, and we want to keep it in the dock. Well, at this point, you can right-click, or, or again, secondary click on it, click Options, and now there's an option to keep it in the dock. So you could just click on that, and now when we click Reminders, the Reminders app will stay there. And at that point, you know, you can move it over. So if you've got an item that, you know, just let's say it launches at startup, but it's not doesn't stay in your dock and it disappears and you don't know how to open it or whatever, just right click on it and, and have it keep in the dock and, and it'll stay there. Um, so yeah, you might be wondering about this, uh, this little divider here. And uh, this divider, anything to the left of it is going to be a one-click launch. Uh, it's for apps only. So you couldn't put a document over here or a folder. Let's say we made a new folder, try to drag this in here. It's not going to let us put it in here. OK, 
Okay. See that? Nothing. The, the apps aren't splitting apart to let us put it in, in there. But uh, anything to the right of it can be folders, documents, um, anything that isn't an, an app or a one-click launch can go to the right. So let's say we wanted a shortcut to this folder. You can kind of drag it in there, and boom, now it's to the right. You can have as many folders or, or apps, um, documents uh, to the right of this as you want. Um, and then you've also got some, some customization options. So if, if we click on this, and yeah, of course there's nothing in there, let me go ahead and just make some folders in here so you can kind of see how this looks. So I made some folders. Now when I click on this, you'll see it kind of does this little fan thing where it fans out any, op, uh, any documents that are in there. And then it gives you another option here, open in Finder, which brings up the Finder window. Um, the reason why it does that is it's only going to show so many. Let's say you had a thousand documents in there. It's not going to fan them all out. It's going to show you some, and then at the top it's going to say, open in the Finder to see the rest. Okay. Well, if you don't like this view, um, which I believe is the fan view, um, you can right-click on it, or secondary click, and you'll see, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's the stack view. Um, so what you could do is uh, like go to folder, and now when you click on it, that's not what I want. Yeah, it is the fan view. I'm sorry. Let's say we go to uh, list or, or grid. Let's go to grid. Now it looks like, like this. Let's say we go to, to list. Now it shows it like this. So depending on how you want to view the information, you can change that. I think by default it's a fan. You leave it as automatic and it's going to do the fan. Um, but uh, yeah, you, if you right click on it, you can change you know, how, it, how it's sorted, how it's displayed. Um, I think this is, you'll see, yeah, so stack is, you'll see there's other folders actually behind. And it'll show previews of all the documents that are inside of this folder. But if you just, if you just make it a folder here rather than a stack, it'll just show the one folder. Um, so yeah, you've got all sorts of customization options here. Um, and what a lot of people like to do, just a, a little tip, a lot of people like to put their whole applications folder down here. And then you can, what you can do is make it a folder, make it a grid, and now you can see all your apps and you can just launch them right from there. It's very similar to the launch pad view, but uh, yeah, pe people have been doing that for a little while. So if that's something that you like, you can pop your apps down there and and do that. Um, of course, uh, you've got your trash here, which uh, is a special kind of finder window. Anything you throw away in here, you can have the op option to empty it, and that's going to delete anything that's in there. Um, and then on, on the other side of the dock, um, you've got this uh, this finder thing, and, and that that's finder is like uh, the equivalent in Windows is going to be Windows Explorer, not uh, not the Internet Explorer, but uh, the the tool to navigate through the file structure um, and and see folders and files and interact with them. So Finder is always open and always in the dock, and you can tell that you see it's got this little dot under it. So any app that's open in the dock is going to have a little dot under it. And for example, I mean I'm using QuickTime Player to capture this video right now, and you'll see it's got a little dot under it. If we open up Safari, you'll see it's got a little dot under it. And that's really important. Um, the reason why it's important is, uh, for example, let's say I close this Safari window. Well, you might think Safari is quit, but it's still got a dot under it. And it's still here in the menu bar. And you could click on your Finder, and Finder comes into the foreground now, but Safari's still running. Safari's using memory, it's using energy. Um, and so it is a good way to see what apps you have open. Um, if you see that there's a dot under any of those and you're not actually using it, you want to make sure that you go up to the menu bar to quit so that it'll actually quit and gracefully shut down and uh, free up resources for your system. Um, so one other plug, uh, and this is for admins, um, if you're looking to control the dock, um, basically from a script or you want to add things to other users' docs, 
Really the way to do that, just from an administration level, is to use a utility called Docutil. Um, I'm not going to talk much about this, uh, but just go ahead and Google Docutil. You're going to find uh, on GitHub there's a, a page for it. Um, and this is the quintessential way to control um, users' docs. You can write a script that says, I'm going to have these apps in this order. I'm going to put uh, certain home folder, you know, only for certain home folders or, or all homes. Or you can change how the vault folders look. There's all sorts of different things in here. This starts to get really complicated with scripting and whatnot. But I just wanted to plug this utility this is an excellent utility if you're trying to uh, um, you know, set up homes, uh, new users, that sort of thing. Uh, this is the way to go, is to use DocuTil. Um, again, that's more for administrators, uh, but a really good app. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, um, you got a window open and you uh, minimize it, going to go into the right side of your dock and basically any applications that you have open as well uh, with, or uh, I mean uh, uh, various windows in those applications so let's say you're, you're working on a bunch of Microsoft Word documents or you've got a bunch of Safari windows open um, you minimize all those they're all going to go into your dock so um, kind of works almost like Windows taskbar so to speak it, it doubles as a, a quick launch menu for launching apps and also anything that you minimize drops down in here clicking on it just brings it back and at that point you can close quit do whatever it is you need to do with it um, settings for the dock are all controlled in system preferences and then under dock um, so you've got the ability to make the dock really large make it really small um, you can magnify when you uh, put your cursor over it so you'll see all the apps kind of get bigger when you put your cursor over it you can make that as as uh, um, big of an effect as you want, or you can turn it off by just unchecking it. Um, you can move the dock to different sides of the screen. So if you don't want it to be at the bottom, which it normally is by default, you can flip it on uh, left or right. Um, yeah, so this, this minimize, uh, you can kind of change the way that uh, uh, windows minimize into the, the, uh, the right sidebar or the right side of the dock. Um, just a, another feature. Um, and then uh, as far as uh, these other settings, I mean, there's all sorts of things you can do down in here. If you want it, Mojave uh, added a new feature for uh, as you open applications. It'll keep a little recent thing in the middle here. So let's say we open Safari and we quit Safari. Um, and, and I don't know if it's going to do it or not because I just set it. Yeah. I may have to log out and log back in before it does it. But by default, it's going to keep a little history of, of uh, I think it's three apps, the last three apps that you had, it's going to keep in there. Uh, but you can turn that off if you don't like it. Um, another another uh, popular one is to automatically hide and show the dock. So you'll see I clicked that and the dock went away. If I bring it, my cursor down to the bottom, it automatically shows up. And that just kind of gives you some more space. Um, as if, uh, let's say we keep it there, and uh, we bring up a Safari window, you'll see it's only going to go to the top of the dock. But uh, if we uh, automatically hide and show the dock, and then we bring up Safari window, we can drag that all the way down to the bottom. So it can get you some more, uh, some more uh, room. Uh, it looks cleaner. Uh, just a personal preference. So you can go ahead and set whatever preferences you want in here. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's per user. So uh, you know, if you've got different user accounts on, on the computer, uh, you can set it up how you want, and, and someone else on the computer can set it up how they want, and, and uh, yeah, totally customizable. So the dock is a really cool tool that uh, you, can, you can set up however you'd like. Apple has, has designed it that way, and uh, feel free to go ahead and configure to your heart's content. Um, if you have any questions about the dock or anything else that's macOS related, feel free to comment. Um, again, subscribe, like, really appreciate it when you guys do that and support me. Um, this is Macintosh Training signing off. Thanks again.